I'll recap. We've, two, we've three things left to do. We've this, we've the puck out itself, and then we just have a little recap uh, that I normally do during a warm do. Okay, so um, three shapes. So this one, one of the most frequently asked questions that I was asked over the years was, if I'm wing back, do I follow on our own puck out? Okay, do I follow on our own puck out? Or how far do I go on our own puck out? Okay, so I suppose a frequent puck out for us was down on the brick at number 10. So Leo goes down on the brick at number 10. And we had one rule. If Connor Gleeson or Philip Manny, if Connor Gleeson or Philip Manny, we need one more, that's one more where the balls are. Just free up the lad in the green and white there. One more go down there, that's one more go all the way to the balls. If Thomas is there and he's looking for a, a puck out off the keeper, which often situations arise where a wing back will go back and he's looking for a puck out, he's trying to draw the left half forward down the field. And next minute, the keeper lands a minute by hitting it long on sock, or sock lands it on brick. And Walter Walsh is here in the yellow helmet and he's coming back on the break. Okay? So we had one rule with Walter, a very simple rule, that you have to have your arse between Walter Walsh and the ball. Okay? Now, if that involves. If that involved number 11 coming around, number 8 coming around, so it allowed Conor Gleeson or Philip Manny not to have to go 100 yards up the field with him, that we had an extra body on the break. Now, there was a couple of prerequisites. Brick had to bring it down in front of him. Because if in the first shape, if you think of the first shape, awfully, where the orange cones are, sometimes we got the fella at the tip of that triangle to come out on the break. And if he, obviously if Paul Murphy doesn't follow him, if Joey Holden doesn't follow him, and Brick gets the hurley played, it's going to go through for a free, free ball with Joey Holden. But if Joey Holden goes out, we have a situation where we four or five forwards and the whole middle is open. Which I'll show you a clip where that exactly happened. And they can be rehearsed. They can be rehearsed. Obviously it won't work out all the time. But a good drill to do that is a simple drill here where the chap in the orange here, right, uh, Thomas, pretends he's getting it, goes back to get it off this, but doesn't get it. You hit a long ball to here. You're Walter Welch, you're coming on the break and one guy just comes around one guy, the ball is going to be hit long to this chap, right? Okay? And I'm going to be coming from here, just mimicking, and you're going to be coming this way, you're going to be coming this way, and I'm against you, and I'm here. Right? And you're going to be coming against me, and you're, playing, you're actually playing this way. Okay? So can you see that in your head, lads? Can you see that in your head? You have to be able to see it in your head, or I'm not doing it properly. Listen now. He's left half forward, in the blue, the chap in the blue, in the yellow Cooper helmet here. Right? My man in orange here has gone back for a handy one. The keeper has landed a minute by going long. So he has 20 yards to get on the break here. What we're trying to mimic is a number 11 or an extra midfielder just getting around here and making sure that he's here. So that if the ball breaks here, Philip will be after making up the gap, but he might be after making it all up. And I can act as a chaser on, on Thomas here. Is it Thomas? Okay. Do you understand? Can you see that, lads? Can you see it in your head, lads? Is that all right? Yeah? If you, if you can't, not, I'm not doing my job. But it's a very way, it's a simple way of doing it. Simple way of doing it. If I had six drills here, I could have six groups going at that, and they're actually doing a game situation where it's going on their head, fellas coming around the break. Now, what happens here at every level? At every level, the ball is mishit. The boys are like, ah, Jesus Christ. You know, it's mishit by the chap down there. And so the lads say, I'm out. So even if it's emphasised, even if it's mishit, or it goes low, just make sure the second fella in the group is making a run around. Okay, and it can become a contest then between the chap in the yellow helmet, the chap in the wine helmet, and the fella that's coming around on the break. You understand? You understand, boys, eh? Make sure. Let's go again. Let's go again. What? He can catch it and give it to him. All right, or he can flick it down for him. All right, good lad. Let's have a go again. Let's go. Let's go again. Let's go again. Now, get up, up. Good. On it. Now, on it. On it. Okay. Good. Perfect example here. Perfect example here. All right. Come on. Come on. Get over. Get over. Come on, come on, get over there, get over there. Come on, who's there? Good lad, come on, hurl away, it's open, it's open. Good lad, stay, goal, think goal now, think goal. Okay, ready, Leo? Over to the other side. <whistles> ah, lovely. Think goal now, think goal. Go on, go on. Stay another bit, bring it another bit. <whistles> what would I know? Come on. I said, just to recap, right? And I keep apologising because it would flow. It, that, that would really flow when you have the session laid out yourselves and the boys are familiar with it. So I hate anyone to leave with complexity in their head. So sometimes what I do when we're finishing up is you have a couple of mini fields like this set up, right? 
a couple of mini fields. You might have one beyond it. And as you're warming down, if you just line up here, lads. Okay? If 15 lads line up with the cones, the other 15 up, line up behind them, facing this way, facing the stand. Right? So twos, like, okay? Right? Now, I would normally say to them, a shape then that we'd have to work on. Offly or whatever, okay? We call the offly one, which is the orange one. And I would say offly, and I give them 10 seconds with their stretching, and they just lay out 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 a bit deeper, 14 and 15. And you say to them, just during your warm down. So if I said to them, so that's why I've color coded here, three full four lines are offly. Okay, so let, well, the minute you do it, lads, right, we'll, we'll, get, we'll test you out here. You're playing this way. You're playing this way. So let's Good, lads. Now, have a look at it. Look, look. So I would say to them normally, I would say to them normally, I would be as strict, even with a senior team, as saying, you know, who are you? Two, three, four, five. What's your job? Particular emphasis on this fella. Come a bit, come a bit deeper. Particular emphasis on this fella is a dog. Has to be a dog. Has to be willing to sacrifice to get to the five, six, and seven that's in front of them. Because they will, they'll stay when the boys go deep hunting. Okay? Then, I go back to 15 cones and I'd say the other shape. The boys will just change it. Show us the shape, three in a row there, right? Three lined up straight. Okay? And in this shape, we'd be emphasizing quick ball, goals, pace, opening them up quick, going after their throats early, all those type of things. And the message would come in from the mayor, Ferna, space is there, get it, move it as fast as we can. Move it as fast as we can. And again, the, the opposite of that then is, just give us the limerick shape, two, two side lines, one, one on the edge of the square, one on the, right in on the edge of the square, one fella, on the edge of the square, yeah, good that. Okay? And again, the prerequisite is 10, 11, and 12. And just for any keepers amongst you, because we are more conventional than normal then, our 10, 11, and 12, we would see as midfielders, kind of part of the pack, part of the pack, 10, 11, 12, 8, 9. So, if, if the 12 here, Walter Welch, has time to turn and hit a ball, he must run into the brick. Because 7 has decided to hold his line because we're very conventional in our shape. And the keeper has a massive role, 15 or 20 yards off his goal. Because if it's 2 on 2 inside, he needs to be the third fella. So that's the way I'd always finish up. Not as slow as that because the boys are only doing it for the first time. But if you can build that into your session, it's, uh, it's, it's very helpful. Okay, listen, thanks for your attention. Thank you. Thanks a lot.